Was that Kaneki Ken or Ken Kaneki? Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ravni and today we're going to be drawing Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. The main hero, of course, of Tokyo Ghoul is Kaneki Ken and he is a regular human being who, after going on a date with a ghoul, gets bitten and then in order to survive, gets transplanted with organs that happen to come from that same ghoul who tried to eat him, hence becoming this half-person, half ghoul character. For Anime Thursdays, I chose Tokyo Ghoul because it's almost Halloween and I thought it would be a perfect thing to draw and for us to go a little bit darker with our anime themes. As always, what you guys need for this drawing is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black pen so you can ink afterwards. I like to use cardstock paper because it makes it easier for me to erase without crumpling the page and cardstock is also good for when you're inking because it doesn't bleed through to the other side of your paper. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your drawings. Remember, we all draw at different speeds so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Okay, we're going to start by drawing a circle in the middle of our page. And as you can see, I've got my paper in portrait mode. And we're going to be drawing Kaneki pretty much facing forward. So we're going to draw a circle and I'm going to make it relatively big. And try to center it as much as you can. There you go. And from that circle, I'm going to bring the cheeks down. But you notice, uh, I don't start right here, I start down here. And I'm gonna bring it down, same angle on both sides, this much, and then find a point over here, and that's the chin. All right, this is going to be the mask, and we're just going to outline the top of the mask right here, just like that. Okay, now we're going to draw a line going down the middle, a faint one, you don't want it too dark. Erase the bottom of that circle there, and, and then we're going to draw, let's draw the, uh, the teeth now. And the teeth, they start right here, lower lip first, goes up on the sides here, same thing over here, so these two are they should be mirror image to each other. And right here, across, up, and then round it off like that. There you go. Here I'm going to create a little V on this side, and then beneath that, a flat line, and then and then an uh, uh, angled line going up like that. And that's part of the nose. I'm gonna draw this line in the middle. And then I'm gonna draw that. Similar line on the opposite side. Rivets right here. One, two. I'm gonna make a U right there. And then I'm gonna bring it down here. It's gonna be covered by his eye patch. So I'm gonna leave that for now. <laughs> it looks kind of funny because from here, it looks like these, this, these are the eyes, that's the nose and that's the mouth. But let's draw some ovals inside those circles. And it looks really funny right now, but trust me, it'll look fine later on. Okay, let's uh, draw the top part of that mask there, just like that. And then let's draw the, the lip part of the mask, right there. The chin kind of goes like this. Let's uh, take this lip, bring it like that to the side. Makes that angle. And let's do the same thing on this side. Well, essentially this is a gimp mask, if you guys did not know. And then from above the nose, right here, a line right there, and another line right here. Okay, let's find 
this line in the middle here and let's draw it and it should be curved. At the very end of it, draw a circle and then the, the handle part of a zipper right there. And then let's divide it. So I'm going to draw that middle line very faintly still. And what we want to do is we want to count one, two, three, four lines. And these are the teeth, of course, two, three, and four. And then the top of each one, we're going to draw a upside down V shape. So put two thirds of a triangle. Okay. Two, three, four, and then again. And then down here, same thing. You want them to be, the teeth, you want them to be kind of squarish. Just like that. There you go. So we've got the mask pretty much. We'll just draw. I'm just going to draw a line right here. And that's sort of the, the sheen of the mask, the shine of it. So we'll draw that line. A line down, going out like that. Right here, just some zigzag lines. And when I go ink it afterwards, these are going to be the shiny parts and the mask itself should be dark colored. Okay. And same thing over here. I'm just going to create a little shine right here. Just like that. All right. Now let's get to the actual face for Kenneke. First thing I'm going to do is draw the bridge of the nose and the nose goes down. I had a small line in the middle here and then one to the left. Okay. Right around here, we're going to draw the eye patch. And it goes like that. And of course the eye patch itself is square with an X in the middle. So let's do that. The square is kind of diagonal. And I'm going to round off the, the corners. Just like that. Now in each, each corner is going to be a rivet and then the X. So I'm just going to draw an X around those rivets. It might help you a little better if you draw the X first and then you just draw the lines around it. But this is kind of what you want. And then let's make it two layers so there should be another another square beneath that just like that okay and in the middle of those rivets are circles let's move on let's uh, draw the top half of that patch but we're not going to draw it uh, too dark because well because it actually gets covered by his hair so let's continue now let's draw the eye now the eye is a little bit difficult you need to be able to place it uh, in the right spot in the face otherwise it'll look kind of off so that in this part uh, slowly take your time and find out the best uh, spot for the eye so here for me, I'm just going to do it lightly first. That looks about right. So you'll notice that it's it's got it's got a point right there, and I, I drew a curve for the eyebrow, and then a curve for the eye, the top of the eye, make a point, and then curve it down and across for the bottom part of the eye. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, well, first I'm going to draw another line going across like that right there. And then I'm going to start right here. I'm going to darken the top part. 
and the side, but not the bottom. Okay, so that gives the illusion of uh, um, eyelashes without drawing the individual lashes. On guys, you don't really want to do that. You want to draw them as one group. Okay, now I'm going to draw a half circle, fairly big. Of course, that's going to be red, but I'm not going to be coloring it. Inside is a dot with a faint circle around it. And then another kind of just dots like this that surround that and gives it that ghoulish look. Okay, now I'm gonna draw some wrinkles under the eyes. And right here, there you go. Okay, now let's draw the ear. I'm gonna start right here where this goes kind of across from it. I'm gonna draw the ear part. Goes all the way down to actually the bottom of the lip part of the mask. Okay, now we're going to draw the top curl of the ear and then the bottom one, just like that. And then inside there's that bump. There you go. Now, pretty much good. Let's draw the ear on the other side. So same thing over here. And about the same thing where you would you would see the eye, uh, where the eye would be in the, in the patch. Of course, you don't see it. But from here going across, let's draw the ear. Try to make it the same. I might need to bring that up a little higher. There you go. And then same thing, let's draw the curls. Oh, we can actually, yeah, there you go. Draw the side of the face there. And then that top curl and then the bottom one like that. Okay, here I actually forgot to draw a couple of things. There's a string that goes from the rivets here up and then same thing here. There you go. That's to keep the eye patch in place, connects the eye patch and the mask together. Okay, now we're going to draw the uh, hair. This isn't too hard, but what you want to do is you want to find a point at the top and the hair, I'm thinking it should go a little bit higher than this. So I'm going to put the hair up here and check yours. It doesn't have to, uh, it doesn't have to go higher if you feel like it shouldn't. So I'm drawing it higher than the original circle that we drew earlier. And I'm just going to draw the outline of how I want the hair to flow goes down like there, behind the ear, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna find a spot over, over to the right of the center, right around here. And pretty much his hair flows from that spot down to his face. I'm gonna erase this middle line. We don't need it anymore. And we're just going to bring the hair down Now here's the tricky part, and this is a part where it's kind of difficult to explain to you, and if you, it'll be very difficult for me to um, do a tutorial on how the hair sort of flows above the eye, so you guys kind of have to uh, gauge it yourself. But we're essentially drawing the hair like this, but it's random. Sometimes it goes like this, sometimes it goes to the right, sometimes it goes down. But uh, what we want to do is we want to create layers of the hair right here. And you don't want them to all be the same, uh, the same height. So you want some of them to be shorter up at the top. And then you want to draw, you want to draw some hair underneath it. So I'm going to do that. And I want you guys to look at your drawing and try to 
don't do uh, don't do your drawing exactly like I'm doing mine. I want you guys to try to uh, come up with a hair design yourself by creating these curvy ends. But just know that it's it's above his eye and it kind of goes here and it kind of covers the top of his eye patch and it covers the top of his ears as well. So you guys go ahead and do that. I'm just going to uh, not talk too much and I'll let you watch what I'm doing. All right, well, there you go. I'm going to draw the neck and like the little gas mask stuff that comes out of uh, the sides of his neck there. And then I'm going to continue the hair and then I'll draw the body. Well, just the, the top part of his shoulders. So the neck starts right here and he's got a fairly thin neck. And it goes even thinner and it goes down and it's pretty it's pretty long, 
I would say. About that long. On the sides here, let's draw two lines going out and then two lines going perpendicular to those two lines. Just like that on that side. Actually, I'm going to double up on this side right here. And then same thing on the other side. in the back here. And then lastly, we're going to draw his shirt and it's in tatters. So what I want you to do is create these random triangular points of different sizes and different directions. And that is what is going to be his shirt. Right there, and I'm gonna bring this like that. So, as you can see, very random. There you go. I'm gonna start over here. So this is like a, the collar of the shirt here. And same thing over here. So as you do that, you kind of want them to be similar in shape to each other. You don't want one to be bigger than the other or anything. So you want it to be equal. And then shoulder down like that. And then same thing over here. Try to bring it up. And I think, I think we've got it, you guys. This is how you draw Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. And that's all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope your drawings of Kaneki Ken turned out great. And if you guys are proud of your drawing, I would love to see them. So go to the Draw2 community in Google Plus and post your artwork there. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to draw my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to support content creators like myself so we can continue making free content for you guys. My question of the day, what do you guys think of Tokyo Ghoul? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Let me know. In the comments below and if this is your first time here I would love to have you guys subscribe here in this channel I draw your favorite characters and easy to follow simple step-by-step -step instructions so if you guys like what you see come join the community and hit that big red subscribe button here and if you did enjoy this tutorial it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video comment it below or share this video to your friends in social media and speaking of social media don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook Instagram Google Plus and on my website drive2.com where you can download a free coloring page of Kaneki Ken. So go ahead and download it. It's free. Again, all of those links are down below. Finally, and as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. The main hero of the main, the main hero, of course, the main hero of top. Today, we're going to be drawing Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. We're going to be drawing Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Ghoul. I'm going to draw Kaneki Ken. <coughs>